Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Bundesliga career mode. This is episode number 71 and we start today's episode off with a game against Werder Bremen here away from home against our rivals in the Bundesliga. Coming on the back of that fantastic 4-0 victory against Hoffenheim in the last game in the last episode. That was our first win of the new season and much needed of course but also it wasn't really the biggest news of that episode. In the last episode the summer transfer window ended. We made a new signing on deadline day in the face of Mahmoud Dahoud and we also kept hold of Cesar Valente and made him sign a new contract as well so a dramatic last episode and hopefully now things are going to start to kick on a little bit and we're going to put the poor starts of the season behind us and what a way to start this game as well taking on our rivals away from home we would open the scoring through one of our new signings Marco Royce getting his first goal for the club cutting in from the left and going for goal and finishing the ball into the top corner as well I'm really excited for Royce and Sandy this season down each wing because they will both cut onto their preferred feet to shoot and that's when they're at their best so 1-0 to Hamburg at the break not the best of first halves really despite the stats showing we were dominating it was pretty poor first half really but the second half here Werder Bremen had a good chance here to get themselves back on level terms Bartels controlled the cross with the chest and then half volleyed the ball just wide the post but the number 22 is looking like Werder Bremen's best player on the pitch really he went down the right hand side here after taking it around his man and got himself inside went for goal from a tight angle but Valente made the save and eventually we we got the danger clear temporarily so Valente making the save but the number 22 for Werder Bremen was looking like their best player and their brightest spark offensively so after the shot was saved by Valente we failed to deal with the uh, the chance completely if you will it came back to the number 22 Bartels inside the area who found Johansson who was taken down by Saul from behind just as he was about to shoot and the referee gave a penalty to the home side so Werder Bremen win a spot kick Saul takes down Johansson it was one of those where he's going to take the shot miss kicks the ball and it's sort of flops a little bit but I think there was contact with Saul and Johansson so I'm not going to complain about it and then straight after that he was subbed off so Johansson leaves, Uja comes on, his first responsibility is to, to, to convert the penalty but as you can see Cesar Valente calls the bluff, Uja goes down the middle and Valente catches the ball very easily and keeps the score at 1-0 so Cesar Valente just signed a new contract with Hamburg he's going to be here for another four years and I mean he's proving his worth right to begin this season off with because it's another clean sheet for Cesar three in a row to begin the season and we win the game by a goal to nil so last season Werder Bremen were the first side to beat us that year uh, they were the uh, one of only two teams to beat us in the league last season and they inflicted the first defeat on us last year but this time we come to their house we get the win this time as opposed to a loss and Cesar Valente saved the penalty to ensure we would win the game by a goal to nil so another win for Hamburg delighted with that two in a row and after two draws in a row to start the season off, hopefully now we're going to start to kick on because it was such a poor beginning, you know, two draws in our first two games. And you may think, well, it's just the first two games of the season. You've know, got 32 games after that in the league. But we are the holders of the Bundesliga and we are not going to hold on to our title again if we keep on slipping up because we know how good Bayern Munich are. You know, we've seen it in the first three seasons. Even last season, for the first half of the year, they were absolutely terrible. But then they came back and pushed us all all the way so we need to make sure we get a better start than two draws from our first two games but fortunately now it's two wins and hopefully we will continue to extend the win streak and hopefully start with our first win in our first Champions League group stage game and what a start to the game as well because just 38 minutes in Masuaku would open the scoring and make it 1-0 to Hamburg we patiently passed the ball from right to left Brandt gave it to our left back just outside the area and how about that for a contender for goal of the season already what a strike by Masuaku who I've said before has this in his locker he's a really underrated player for us he's grown to an 81 overall I think it is now he's always been very solid down our left hand side in the left back role going forward he's a threat as you can see by this uh, this goal here a really really nice goal and defensively he's very solid as well so our number three makes it 1-0 to Hamburg what a goal by Masawaku and we take the lead and make it 1-0 he almost doubled our lead though on a stroke of half time uh, first his header was cleared off the line and Akinfi punched it behind for another corner and then from this corner Holby Cross the wins to the centre, looked for Hoffman who won the header but the Hoff headed it wide in the post and behind for a goal kick. So at half time we were leading by a goal to nil but despite CSK in Moscow dominating possession we were looking the stronger side but in the second half here, five minutes after the restart, a good chance for the Russian team to get back on their terms but what a save by Cesar Valente once again 
proving how valuable uh, valuable he is to this team. This free kick was launched into the centre. The flick on header was won, and Valente low down to his right hand side pulls off an absolutely fantastic save just before the header. It's about to creep into the bottom corner and keeps it at Hamburg one, CSKA Moscow nil. So a big save by Cesar Valente. We still lead by a goal to nil. The Russian side didn't give up though. They kept on creating chances, kept on getting attempts, but their problem was they didn't take the ones they got. Whereas for us, we look strong and every single time we kept on getting chances we looked like we would score and with three minutes to go Luan ball rolled the ball round his man through balled it through towards Julian Brandt and Brandt finished the chance and made it Hamburg 2 CSKA Moscow nil. so not as good as Masawaki's goal but either way they all count and Julian Brandt secures the three points with just under three minutes on the clock so a nice ball through by Mahmoud Dahoud towards Luan with the ball roll to take out the last defender then played it through to Brandt and Julian Brandt simply couldn't miss so he's lost his place in the first 11 now, Julian Brandt. Marco Royce has came in and taken his spot on the left-hand side of midfield. But he's a good player for us. He always has been. We brought him halfway through the first season. And he's always been good. Whether in the attacking midfield role or out wide on the left, he's always putting a really good shift for us. And I'm still pretty confident that he'll turn out to be a really, really good squad player. We've got man the match in this one. Played very, very well indeed. And again, he's one of those players who is just effective out wide as he is through the middle. He's such a handy player to have in your squad so I've um, got no plans to sell Julian Brandt he'll be staying here even if it's just in a squad role capacity but uh, still good to get to win in that one free in all competitions now the win streak gets extended and also our first Champions League win in our first Champions League group stage game last season reaching the final the board wants to do it once again well that was the right way to start so good to get the win and for our third and final game of today's episode here we go back into the Bundesliga and take on Freiburg here at the Volkspark Stadion so hosting one of the newly promoted sides taking on Freiburg. You definitely fancy our chances of winning this game. We did have the first chance of the game as well. Yannick Gerhardt shot was well saved with the goalkeeper. Then Freiburg had the following chance just before the 20 minute mark and this shot by Philippe went just wide of the post and behind for a goal kick. 10 minutes before the break though, a really good chance to open the scoring as Lewis Holtby finds Maximilian Meyer. The former Schalke boys link up here with Meyer finding Sane down the right hand side. He keeps on going, keeps on going, takes it round his man Kempf, drills it across to the far post and at the far post, Lewis Holtby is a arriving late and puts the ball into the back of the net for his first goal of the season. So the skipper scores his first of the year but what a lovely run by Sane down the right hand side using his pace, drilling it to the far post, a brilliant cross with his weaker right foot and at the far post Lewis Holtby simply could not miss. So Holtby with the finish, Sane with a really good assist and it is 1-0 to Hamburg with the skipper scoring his first of the season. So 1-0 to the home side and just for the break here a good chance to make it 2. Maximilian Meyer finds Angel Correa here through towards Leroy Sane. We are going on a break time after time after time again here against Freiburg. Looking really promising. Sane goes through, shoots with the left foot, but it hits the far post and Freiburg escape. And at half time, we still led by just the one goal to nil. So 1 0 at the break. In the second half, though, three minutes, uh, three minutes after the restart, a good chance to make it 2 0. We won ourselves a free kick 27 yards out. Cesar Valente came forward to take it, looking for his first goal of the season. But the goalkeeper made a really good save and stopped him from scoring his third free kick goal of the series. So still Hamburg 1 at Freiburg 0. But a few minutes later another good chance for the away side to get back on all terms. Jovino goes down the left hand side cross it into the centre. Sewell deals with it but not fully. It comes to Schuster who goes for goal but can't control the shot and it goes over the bar and behind for a goal kick. So still 1-0 to Hamburg but this was a really action packed game and the fact there was only one goal in it was really really surprising. It was just one of those games where we kept on creating chances but never really looked too composed in front of goal. Our latest chance fell here 80 minutes for the end. Leroy Sane cutting in from the right and going for goal on his preferred left foot as per usual but the goalkeeper made the save and Meyer then dribbled the ball out of play and it went behind for a goal kick so it was still 1-0 to Hamburg and I felt to myself with the game coming towards its close if we don't hold on to the three points I'll only have myself to blame and the final chance would fall to the away side here as Boca Negra launches the ball into the area. We failed to deal with it fully. Nielsen's header is fantastically saved by Cesar Valente but at the far post after Valente turned the header onto the bar it fell to Jonas Hoffman who turned the rebound into the back of the net and rescued a point for the away side. So Hamburg won, Freiburg won and look at this on the replay of Masuaku here. It was me controlling him and I ran away from his assignment which was Hoffman. He went on the break really looking for a counter attack as I always do. Left Hoffman and in the end he had a simple finish. So only had myself to blame for that goal there. Really poor of me to leave the man with Masuaku looking for the counter attack as per usual when we didn't even have the danger clear. So 
In the end, the final score is Hamburg 1, Freiburg 1, a very disappointing draw. That is already three draws from our first five Bundesliga games. A very, very disappointing start. But again, I only have myself to blame for this result. A really, really poor throwaway. And we should have won the game, in my opinion, pretty comfortably. But the game did finish 1-1. And unfortunately, as you can see by the table, three draws from our first five games. Zero defeats, but only two wins. This is not the type of form that will see us be crowned champions once again. But that is going to be today's episode of the Bundesliga career mode, guys. So a big thank you for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Like so much, appreciate it. And really help the channel grow as well. Much love to you all. And I'll see you for the next episode of the Bundesliga career mode very soon.